All right, today is December 11th, 2020, and this is my week 17 recap. Yeah, so I think, or 16, I can't remember what week we're on, but all I know is that I'm almost done. I'm almost done with Fit to Fat 40. I got two weeks left to go, and I'm freaking stoked to be done with this part, but at the same time, I'm gonna enjoy it. Like, I'm gonna enjoy these last two weeks. To be honest with you, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna get everything I can, you know, get it out of my system, get <laughs> all, the, all the unhealthy food as much as possible. This past week, um, you know, it was like a normal week. I had my girls, which was really good. For me, it's really helpful to have them around because it helps with the transition. You know, Julie and I transition out of our relationship. And if I was by myself, I think it would be 10 times harder. Being a dad is very fulfilling for me. I love spending time with my girls. It's Christmas time. Like we're watching Christmas movies. We're making cookies. We're making gingerbread houses. Like all that stuff is super fulfilling. And I actually enjoy that part a lot. It's helped me heal. Honestly, um, after uh, we announced our uh, breakup online on social media, which was really hard. Um, so I'm super grateful to be a dad. I'm super grateful I have them. You know, um, I think it's really hard for me because I know Julie doesn't have kids. And so it's been hard for her. And I think even harder, you know, for her than it is for me because, you know, she doesn't have kids. And so, uh, it's, there's just so many emotional things right now that are going on and I I feel like <laughs> I'm ready for this journey to be over with because it feels like it's been kind of like a bad nightmare. It feels like it's been rough on so many people and it's been way harder than I thought it was going to be. And I think the good thing that will come out of this eventually is there's so many lessons to be taken out of this f for me personally, but it'll carry over into how I help people right, live a healthy lifestyle. So I think it's gonna help me so much in the long run, become an, an even more impactful leader or coach, whatever you wanna call it, because I've lived these experiences, I've had these hardships. So there's been so many hard things, but I think there will be a lot of good that comes out of it eventually. It's just sometimes the, the pain going through it during, like the, the painful part, it sucks. But it's meant to suck. And I, I think a lot of times I'm like, all right, I wanna fast forward, I wanna go, I want to get happy again. I want to be happy again. And if we don't try and learn from the pain, because uh, the cure for pain is in the pain, and I know that's true. But there are moments where I'm like, this is too much. I just need an escape. So I'll reach for some alcohol. I'll reach for some treats. Or sometimes, you know, I'll, re I'll reach out to some friends like, hey, do you guys want to hang out? And I think there's a balance, right? It's not like I need to be alone for weeks or months at a time, you know, uh, meditating all day, every day. There's a time and place for that, but there's also time and place for, okay, I need a good distraction, like a good movie or a football game or having some friends over, those kinds of things. I think there's got to be a balance of that. So I know that life keeps, life keeps moving forward no matter what. Um, it, there's still going to be some hard times for sure, but you know, I'm really looking forward to the journey back to fit. I'm a little bit nervous. I am nervous for that part for sure, but um, I know it's going to be hard for a period of time and then that hard... It's going to be hard still, but it's going to get a little bit more manageable. So I'm really excited to do it with, you know, tens of thousands of people from all over the world. They're going to do this journey with me, and that's what makes it so cool, and I'm really excited for that part. But until then, send me your requests of what foods I should eat before <laughs> my last day because uh, once that day comes, it's going to be go time. I'm not going to be able to reach for the ice cream or have the donuts in the house. So send me your suggestions of, like, last supper ideas or last dessert ideas. Um, so I could uh, definitely be as fulfilled as possible. So, all right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. I got two more weigh-ins and um, Christmas is coming and the new year is coming. So I'm ready for this year to be over with. <laughs>